Hey, what's going on guys? I'm back with another video. And um, the reason I'm not as active on YouTube these days is like, I got too much shit to do, man. I don't have time to talk to you motherfuckers on YouTube and get paid 100 euros a month, bro. Like that shit ain't, that ain't gonna do nothing for me. I need more money, bro. Which is why I'm doing other things to hustle. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to keep uploading videos like every now and then because obviously my channel, you know, it's just, you know, it's crazy how, how much of a hard working individual I am, right? And how smart and intelligent I am and how much of a vision that I am able to just come to fruition. How many people do you know could create a successful YouTube channel? number is probably like a small percentage of the population because most people you know they're just like losers really I mean most people want to work a nine-to-five have a family have kids and then die that's basically the normal that's what you would call normal right like normal like that's what you would call normal wake up every day, go to work for a family that really don't give a fuck about you. Well, then people will say to me, oh, you're just using your own bad experiences to invalidate, blah, blah, blah. You're talking from your own ass. But the reality, <laughs> bruh, 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 bruh. Reality is reality is reality. Like you can't really hide from that. You can't change the truth. Nobody can change the truth. Um. Yeah, I mean, I'd say most people would rather work. But then at the same time, it's like, there's obviously two ends of the spectrum, right? There's this side, and then there's this side, and then there's the middle. Obviously, a lot of people would say the middle is close to the truth, but I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, most people are just happy living life like that, you know? Family, kids, job, and then death and taxes. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Sounds about right, right? Pretty much. What about you, Dini? What do you want? <laughs> what do you want out of your life? Man, I mean, at first I wanted this YouTube channel to be successful and become like 100,000 subs, but then that didn't work out. And then I tried this other thing. That didn't work. I can't tell you guys everything on YouTube, obviously, uh, for obvious reasons. But yeah, man, like, I got to kind of look. I got to kind of take a step back and look at the whole picture and then look at the small picture and look at myself in the picture because there's there's the picture the big picture right the big picture is like seeing in the future um you know like kind of seeing things like far seeing right like you're far seeing that's 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 the big picture like you're seeing the most important part of the picture that's why they say the big seeing the big picture means you see the most important element of of the situation like you, you see what's important and what's not i mean yeah i mean socially maybe i'm not exactly i'm not exactly the smartest socially you know but then it's also because i haven't had the most experience in those kind of situations so it's like yeah i mean i'm just thinking i'm just kind of thinking and brainstorming where i went wrong but then i just can't seem to figure it out i'm like damn i didn't do anything I'm actually a perfect human being and I never make any mistakes, right? Um, yeah, man, it's just, I don't know, dude, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to be back for a second, wait. Yeah, man, a lot of people have been asking me, like, do I believe in religion? Do I believe in this, that? I don't really, to be honest with you, honestly, I believe in myself, you know? <laughs> Next time someone asks me what religion do you believe in, I'm just gonna say I believe in myself. You know, I believe in me. Sorry, not to sound, not to sound narcissistic or grandiose or something like that. But no offense, but it's about me. It's all about me. <laughs> At the end of the day, you know, it's not about anyone else. It's not about that person or this. Per it's about me, and how it can benefit me. That's what everything's about. You know, the world revolves around me. You get what I'm saying? So, 
Oh man, that's probably how people perceive me, right? They think that I think the world revolves around me. I mean, you know, maybe it does. Maybe it does. You know, maybe I could become the next. Um, where does the Earth revolve around the Sun, right? The Sun is the or the biggest, and then the Earth revolves around that. So, you know, maybe I could become the next Sun. Who knows? But um, but yeah, man, like it's it's been it's been it's been interesting working working a job. Going to university, I'm almost finished, guys. Um, yeah, the job sucks. You know, the reality is the job sucks, and the employees over there, it's like they, you know, I don't know, like they always talk shit about each other. And, and I'm actually in the process of learning Dutch as well, which is also another thing that I kind of, kind of uh, touch on you guys with. I have this book, and I'm like learning. A bunch of words every day so I've been doing that for a little while at some point I'm gonna be fluent in Dutch which is gonna be a cool thing to have in my toolbox obviously I have to learn Dutch at some point so it's a good thing that I'm coming around to it now maybe I'll even get a girlfriend who knows it's not get too crazy that's probably not gonna happen <laughs> we can just keep getting hookers that's actually perfect yeah exactly yeah I mean I'm not afraid to tell the world that I smash hookers sometimes, like every now and then. I'm not, I have no qualms about telling anybody that. I'll tell you guys right now. <laughs> I mean, it's all right. I mean, it's better than trying to get Tinder and then going to this chick and then trying to get her and then doing this, doing that, constantly trying to get this chick or that chick. It's, 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 it's kind of like you're sitting here, you're trying to figure out how to like, you got a game plan. Then you got to figure out what you got to wear. Then you got to think about, oh, where should I take her? Should I take her to this place or that place? Okay, what should I tell? Like all these different mind games that people play. Obviously, that's just human nature. And obviously, that's always going to exist. It's the element of courting, right? That's how it's been done since millennium. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not complaining about it. I'm just saying that it's not for me. You know, it's, it's for other people. It's for you. It's for y'all. So, you know, sometimes I do kind of think back and I look at myself and I do think, what a handsome fucker, right? <laughs> I know you guys respect me to say neg something negative, but that's just not going to happen. Oh, what am I going to do today? I just want a massive bet. I bet um 160 on Liverpool to win and for Inter Milan to be Juventus. That came through for me, so I'm extremely happy. The money still hasn't hit my bank account because it takes one or two working days, and today is King's Day. So I gotta wait until tomorrow. Um, what else? Why am I telling everything about my life to the camera? Kind of maybe need to edit to that. I don't, know. I don't think so. I don't think we need to edit anything out. <clears throat> and how do I feel? Okay, how do I feel about abortion? Just a random question out there for you guys. How do I feel about abortion? Well, I mean, it's, it's a complicated topic. That It's nuanced. And it's... Uh, my, my official stance on it would be... Yeah, but there's multiple answers I'm going to give for different scenarios. But for on average, I would say... I, I kind of want to say no. Because most people that get abortions are not raped. Most people that get abortions are not are not like yeah most people that get abortions are not raped so it's like people talking about rape and bringing that up obviously they can bring it up but it's like a small percentage it's just small percentage like you can't talk about the small percentage and miss out the majority it's kind of confusing obviously rape is wrong you know i don't have to even say that it's pretty obvious um it's wrong of course yeah whatever and um you know, I think I'll stay away from that topic. <laughs> I don't want to get cancelled. I think I'll stay away from that topic a little bit right now. I'll stay, I'll stay away from it right now, yeah. Am I going to continue gambling? I probably should stop because I'm probably going to lose all my money if I keep gambling. But, you know, you know it's, it's life. You know, sometimes you lose everything and then you have to come back and get everything again. So... 
Fuck knows. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, Phantom, I gotta get a girlfriend. Ah, oh, I just answered you guys, bro. I just answered your question. I would rather get a hooker than get a girlfriend. But if I have the opportunity to get a girlfriend, I would take that chance because it means I don't have to pay for pussy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no one really likes paying for it. But at the same time, let's look at it from a different perspective. Though. Let's look at it from a different perspective. You're paying for the hooker. But then you're also paying for the girlfriend. You're paying for the dinner. You're paying for her for for trips. You're paying for the clothes. You're paying for the food. You're paying for the gifts. You're paying for this. You're paying for that. So at the end of the day, if you really add it up and you look at it from a cost benefit analysis, and you actually look at it. The hooker is going to be less money in the long term compared to the girlfriend, which is going to be more money in the long term. That's facts, and you guys know it. Don't lie. Yeah, I guess people are going to say in the comments. Now, now, now people are going to say in the comments, oh, he's just justifying being a loser. <laughs> That's how people are going to talk. I know that. He's like, oh, he's just justifying being a loser. Like, I get it, you guys want to hate on me so much, but at the end of the day, you're the one leaving the comment, and I'm the one making the video and making money. You're just sitting there in your mom's basement. It's, it's funny how everyone always talks about mom's, like, that's such a, that's not even really a great insult, is it? Like, sitting in your mom's basement eating Cheetos and all this, like, I see so many people talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a lot of people are basement dwellers in their mom's basement, so that's definitely a good analogy, but it's like, damn. All right. But anyways, guys, I'm out. Peace. Okay.